morning everybody it's another new day are you excited we're going trucking who wouldn't be excited when they're going trucking it's gonna be a good day i'm gonna tell myself that over and over until it happens it's been a good morning so far so we're already off to a great start i'm not too sure what uh what they have planned for me today yet but whatever it is I'm ready for it. This is it. That's our load. Cement column of some kind. It's going to a job site downtown Winnipeg. So the hardest part about this load is going to be uh, getting downtown Winnipeg. <laughs> oh, there's nice premium air in those tires. You can just tell by the way it... Oh, yeah. By the way it feels. That's good air. That's some good air. All right, let's see. We got some brake lights going on back here. We got some signals going on. We got mud flaps going on. We have a license plate light. License plate light going on. Fantastic. I love it when everything works. That's great. How about these tires? Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, how about these tires? Oh, wonderful. Everything's working on this trailer. I told you it's going to be a good day. So I gotta figure out how heavy this cement column is. I'm guessing two, four, six straps. Six, they're good for 5,500 pounds each or 5,400 pounds each. So let's rate that down to 5,000. So six times five, that would be good. Four, six times five, 35, right? Five can, 15, 20, 25, thir 30. <laughs> Trucker, not a mathematician, not a scientist either. I'm not a rocket scientist. I don't know these things. Okay, 30,000 pounds approximately. So this, if this thing's over 30,000 pounds, I'm going to add an extra strap on there. That'll bring it up 30. Let's go see how heavy it is first. I can't imagine this thing being more than 30,000 pounds, though. It's solid cement, though, so we, 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 better, uh, we better go check it out. I've got my gloves up on the dash. They're warming up and drying out. Like I've told you in past videos, the gloves, they keep my hands dry. They do a very good job. I actually really like those gloves, but you still sweat into them. And when you get them wet from your sweat, it's very hard to dry them out. But as long as you put them on the dash there in between deliveries and stuff, they dry, eh, they dry out pretty quick, or at least they warm up so they're not cold. I'd still recommend them. This guy's taking his sweet time getting past me. Come on, buddy. I don't like it when people drive right beside me. Come on, bud. Come on. It makes me nervous, because if something were to happen in front of me, uh, I might need that lane to dart around if a, piece of, like if a wildlife jumps out in front of me or if, for whatever reason. This cement column is going, like I said, downtown Winnipeg. This should be fun. We should arrive right on time. I didn't want to be too early to this one since we're downtown. If you're too early downtown, I, I'm told that there's somewhere to park there. The other driver said there's somewhere to park, but I didn't want to risk it and you know clog up traffic longer than I have to. When I get there now, I'll be right on time. They'll be waiting for me. They'll block traffic off for me so that I can back in. And I'll probably be unloaded with a crane of some sort, I'm assuming. Are you gonna cut me off? Are you gonna do it in your Porsche? Smart, good choice. Good choice. I thought for sure she was gonna do it. <laughs> Everybody wants to be in front of the big truck.
this is where I'm delivering to. I was told to park right here before this intersection. And I'm guessing that crane is for me. It's uh, doing some other crane stuff right now. I'm building something there. You know, this apartment building right here, this one, there was a time when I was actually looking at uh, apartments in there. That was before they redid it. And I was like, eh, before it was pretty old and old and ugly. There's a reason they renovated the whole thing. Now it actually looks pretty nice. It was probably very expensive. This would have been a much better part of downtown to live in than the area I lived in. I lived uh, on the other side of Portage Avenue over there, a little further that way, right behind uh, Portage Place Mall. It was, uh, well, it was a little sketchy. But... Yeah, right downtown Winnipeg. I was told to wait here and uh, they're gonna come guide me and block traffic and tell me where to go and stuff. We'll see if I can show you how it's done. We'll see, I'd really like to show you how it gets unloaded, but if I can't, then I apologize in advance and I'll, I'll talk to you guys after we're done. But pretty straightforward, the, the crane comes down, hooks on, lifts it off. I know it'd be way cooler if you could see it yourself. We'll see, we'll see what I can do. For now, shut her down here. Leave my flashers on, which means, hey, I'm parked here. I'm doing something very important. Leave me alone. Parking place. <laughs> I'm allowed to park here, okay? They told me so. This is where we uh, line up or stage or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to walk over there and uh, ask some questions. This is my first time here. Let's see how we're going to do this. so we're gonna lock the doors. We're in Winnipeg after all. the arena downtown it's just behind us to our right and since then like downtown was getting pretty dirty and dreary and dangerous a lot of crime and since you know the arena was built it sort of kicked off a new revitalization in Winnipeg and they've been doing a very good job you know I always give Winnipeg a hard time because it's Winnipeg and you know it's our it's our capital city I like to poke fun at it but it is a really nice city there's a lot of uh, neat attractions to see, a lot of neat things to see if you're ever out here. city like Chicago not even close it's like a, it's like the size of a Chicago suburb and I'm pretty sure there's about 700 to 750,000 people in Winnipeg Easy there, that lane is 
big enough for your Dodge. You can keep it in your lane, thank you. The time is now lunchtime, noon, so I'm gonna head back to the yard and uh, maybe we'll do another load this afternoon. Not too sure. Just got word about what I'm doing tomorrow because today is finished. We uh, did that download, download the downtown load, downtown delivery uh, earlier this morning. Got out of there by about noon. I had a few other things to do and errands to run this afternoon yet. I had to do a trailer swap in the east side of Winnipeg. I didn't bother uh, 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 filming that. It's just there and back. We already had that downtown footage, and uh, I think that was sort of. Uh, the most exciting part of my day driving downtown and it's not as intimidating or as hard as it may look or seem for the most part everyone on the road they have eyes they they see you're there as a big truck they just don't like it that you're there okay they see you they're not going to run straight into you they most people are a little more cautious around trucks naturally because they don't want to die most people have that natural instinct uh, it, it's, it's really not that bad. It's just the, the most difficult part is they don't like you that you're there. They don't, they don't like it and they don't like you and they don't like your truck <laughs> and they don't like all the noise it makes and every, how big it is. And so they make that uh, very clear very often, just regular people on the street and roads, but eh, we're truck drivers. We know that nobody wants us around really. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, I, I get it. When I'm in my pickup, I'm about to jump in my pickup and go home. I don't want to be stuck behind a slow semi on the way home either. I don't want to be, I want to be in front of the truck. I don't want to be behind the truck. And I'm behind the truck. Who knows if he's throwing rocks out of his tires or something happening. They're going slow. It takes forever to make a corner. I get it. I get it. So I try to remember that when I'm in the big truck, that everyone around me is getting frustrated. Just like I would be getting frustrated in their shoes. It's just, when I'm in my pickup, I understand why the driver's going slower. The hardest part about going downtown as a trucker is that they don't all know why you are doing what you're doing. Why are you taking this wide corner? Oh, look, it looks like he's turning left. Let me cut in here and make my right turn. Oh, wait, why is he coming back right? That's the hardest part. It's just, it's as long as you uh, are patient, keep in mind... You know, other people don't quite understand how much room we need to work all the time. For the most part, they'll stay out of your way. Yes. Driving downtown. And Winnipeg's not really a big intimidating city to drive downtown in either. And I'm familiar with it. I grew up here, and I know it like the back of my hand. I went to high school in Winnipeg, in the St. Boniface area there. Spent a lot of time downtown. I lived downtown for a year. My first driving job when I was 16 was delivering pizza around the city. I know the city like the back of my hand. I used to just go out and drive around. When I lived in the city, uh, for about three years I lived in the city, I used to just go out and just explore. I went down, I bet you, every single street in the city. I probably missed maybe, oh, I could probably count on one hand the amount of roads I didn't drive to. I drove everywhere. I've always loved driving. It's always been my passion, whether trucks or cars. So I know the city, I'm more comfortable in Winnipeg. But if I were to go to like a bigger city, in the U.S., let's say like New York, that okay, case maybe maybe not that extreme, Chicago, uh, maybe like uh, what's a big city that I'm not familiar with at all? Let's say even like a, a Western city like Phoenix. I've never driven in the city of Phoenix before, or Denver, Colorado, or something like that. And if I had a delivery like this downtown Phoenix or Denver, yeah, I'd be a little bit more stressed out, but uh, I'd just take my time take my time and I'd pre-plan my trip uh, look at the weather look at the uh, traffic reports uh you guys know all this I'm gonna hop in my pickup right now it's time to go home and see what the dogs are up to Brit is not at work today so she'll be at home when we get home today that's exciting that's nice we don't get very many days off together because we're both working like crazy we have a house to build and it's not gonna build itself so we're very busy working all the time Oh yeah, we also have this thing that we that we're really working a baby. And it's very expensive for us. Did I tell you the IVF treatment, the the the, the procedure that we're going through? You know how much that is? 
whoosh, whip yourself with that number a few times and you'll know how I feel. <laughs> so we're both working very hard and but but it's a road we're gonna get through we're gonna save up we're gonna do it ourselves we have the means to get there we just gotta be patient and wait let's go home let's go home i've been talking for five minutes already i'm already halfway out the door i'm still talking you over can't forget you guys <laughs> you thought i was gonna leave you in here <laughs> You sure talk a lot, man. It's a vlog. I'm supposed to talk. It's a blog in video form. Vlog, it's a new thing. Well, it's actually not that new. Yeah, hey, kids are weird these days. Chevy? You think I'm weird? Absolutely. But I like weird. One sec, I'm gonna tell you a story. Okay. <clears throat> you ready? I like weird people because I'm a weird guy, Dad's a weird guy, and, and, and Mom's a little weird sometimes, but she's not as weird. She's really nice. She tells me I'm a good boy every day. Is that all you wanted to say, Chevy? Is that your story? Just that we're a bunch of weirdos? Yeah, pretty much. I think everyone's gathered that by now. I wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks for watching my dad's vlog today. Uh, you're cool. Um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. Uh, when you put the camera in my face, I get nervous. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of itchy. Itchy, itchy. I mean, I get itchy when I'm nervous. Sorry, guys. This family may be a little weird, but I wouldn't trade them in for the world. I wouldn't even trade them in for ten woozles. I wouldn't trade them in for... For ten weasels or woozles. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's a lot of value. You sure, Diesel? Yes. Love my family. Thanks for hanging out with me for today, everybody. I appreciate it. Hit that like button if you did like the video and share it with your friends. Maybe they'll like it too if you liked it. And tune in tomorrow. Subscribe if you haven't already. You know all the typical YouTube things. You, you know the drill. Subscribe button. It's down below. It's 